I want to talk about number lines. The idea of the density of numbers indicates that between any two numbers on a number line, there are an infinite number of other numbers. So, for example, between the number 1 and the number 2, there is an infinite number of numbers. That's also true between the numbers um, 1 and 5 tenths and 1 and 6 tenths. What this means, practically speaking, perhaps, in terms of number lines, is that you don't have to draw every number line like this and then try to scrunch decimals between it. So if I were plotting 1 and 5 tenths, 2 and 75 hundredths, 3 and 1 hundredth, 3 and 1 tenth, and 3 and 13 hundredths, I would not have to put all of those on this number line. Now I can, sort of, but it doesn't look very good. right? It's all crowded up into here and my labels are going to overlap and it's going to look horrible. So what I can do is make any number line I want and that's really what I want to do. So let's focus just on these actually. Let's ignore the one and five, one and five tenths or one and a half. So what I want to do here is I don't want to start even going from two to three or two to four. What I want instead is to think about my smallest value is and my largest value. And these happen to be in order already, which of course they won't always be. But again, here are the figures I want to, to chart or to graph on my number line. And I want it to make it long enough to have everything. And I'm going to start at 2.7. So I have 2.7, give myself some space, 2.8, 2.9, 3, and I'm sorry I'm saying point, I tell you not to, I apologize. 3 and 1 tenth, 3 and 2 tenths. And each of those is roughly the same space. And if you have a bad depth perception like me, that's probably the best you can do without a ruler, and that's okay. And now I'm going to, and I'm going to do some estimation here. I'm going to visualize about halfway, or exactly halfway between 2 and 7 tenths and 2 and 8 tenths is where 2.75 would go. Label it 2 and 7,500, sorry. Um, obviously, I have a point right at 3 and a tenth. I have a point at 3 and 13 hundredths. Well, this is 3 and 15 hundredths, the halfway point. So 13 hundredths is going to be just, um, just before that. And then I have 3 and 1 hundredth. And again, this point right here, about, I'm a little off, is 3 and 5 hundredths. 3 and 1 hundredths will be just above 3 itself. And notice that on here we see that I have sort of 2 and 3 quarters or 2 and 75 hundredths as an outlier. And my 3's are still very close together, but they are, um, they're still clearly differentiated of where each one is. And it's very clear. Don't hesitate to do this. This is a much better number line than this for these problems. This number line is fine if you are graphing 1 through 5s or if you're graphing 1 through 5s and things like 1 and a half. But when you start talking about tenths and hundredths a lot, you really need to sort of zoom in, if you will, and just get it into a narrower range and that will work very well for you.